Hi, Sandra here from Create in Spain, and today I'm going to do my best to show you the silver bullet cutting fun foam. Now, what do I mean by fun foam? I mean this sort of stuff. And yes, this is heavily glittered fun foam. If you look at it side on, it's very difficult. I expect for you to see how thick or not this actually is. Um, but I did measure it and including the glitter, it is around about two mil. Now, I've got a piece set up on my silver bullet and I'll let you know how I've actually set it up in my blog to go with this. It's going to be a little bit difficult to, uh, to do both at the same time. And so I've set it up on my computer to do a cut. And if I take a look here, you can see the settings on my machine. 120 velocity, 150 force. <clears throat> now, in my blade holder, which is one of the click blade holders, I confess to having a 60 degree blade, but it's not one that is sold um, by the UK companies for silver bullet or anything else. It's the cheapy job that I got from China. And part of the reason for that is because I don't want to wreck my really decent blades um, that are obviously far more expensive. And I didn't know what the result on the blade would be. And partly because, <coughs> oh there, excuse my cough here, partly because I wanted to see whether it could actually cut it and whether it, it would work. Now, the difference with the blades that I previously had, let me explain, is that I previously had a Cameo and I had a, I think it's a Lee Yu blade holder for the Cameo. And I noticed when I got the blades with my silver bullet that they actually measured 23 millimeters in length. And the ones that I bought, the cheapy spare blades I bought for my Cameo are actually 24. So whereas I actually have my click blade holder set on number one for this, the reason for that is because my blade already sticks out quite considerably. And I pressed it um, against the edge of this and it looked like it was sticking out exactly the right amount so i've got it on number one but if you've got a proper 60 degree blade which is designed for the click holder then you're probably going to be putting it on a much higher setting than that okay so i'm just going to press the computer button if i can see what i'm doing without my glasses on and the machine should start cutting now for you <laughs> Okay, so this one is a different shape to the one I've previously, or the two that I've previously cut out. You'll also notice that all I have here is, um, it's actually supposed to be one of these, uh, like, placemats. And cheapy job that I got from a Chinese shop. But it's really quite strong stuff, so nothing's going to get through that that shouldn't get through it. And I prefer to use this sort of thing if I'm going to cut something where perhaps I don't want to mess up my original mat. And the last thing I want is glitter all over my normal mat when I want to use it for clean card. No thank you, that's not what I have in mind. <clears throat> Excuse me if the camera shakes while I'm doing this because I have to do it one handed. <laughs> I'm just grabbing a rather sharp dental pick to lift up the edge if I can. I might just do it with my nails instead. Yeah, hold on. Whoops, <laughs> I've just torn it. But it is actually cut all the way through. If I was doing this with two hands, it would be an awful lot easier. It has cut all the way through without any problem whatsoever. And I have my nice pointy shape, as you can see. You can see the thickness on that a little easier. Now, <clears throat> why have I cut it upside down? Uh, a couple of good reasons for that. <clears throat> because if you're going to put your blade directly into the glitter, uh, bear in mind this does have a glitter finish. Not all foam foams do, but this one does. That's going to dull your blade a lot, a lot quicker. So I figured that if I put it on the bottom of the cut, the blade is only just about going to go into it and it's probably not going to have the same dulling effect. 
So how did I actually set this up in the first place? Actually, instead of doing it in a separate post, I will show you. Now, obviously, I have taped this down with masking tape. It's really hard to do this one-handed, I can tell you. And my mat is very slightly sticky. It's not a really sticky mat. I did spray it with temporary adhesive a while ago, but I didn't spray it this morning. It's, uh, it's not been used for months. So I did that. All right, now if I just pull this over this way, you can see the glitter. And if you look carefully, you can see uh, something on my mat. And all I did really, <clears throat> I took some cheap sticky back plastic and I laid it over my glitter. The reason for doing that, I wanted to see how well it would catch any glitter bits which were left. And true to form, it has actually captured quite a lot of them. So it just makes it slightly less messy. And it means that if you were using a decent mat underneath, you wouldn't have quite so much clear up to do. Okay, so yes, it will happily cut foam foam, something which my Silhouette Cameo could not do for the life of it. I couldn't get it to cut foam foam, at least not this stuff. I could get it to cut the really, really thin one, uh, which is probably less than a millimetre, but I couldn't get it to cut this. So this is great. I mean, this is really useful for children's school projects, for adding a bit of bling to whatever you might want to add a bit of bling to. Um, as you notice, this one is a little balloon. I thought that would be really nice on cards to do balloons and things, incorporate that in a design. So yes, it will cut it. It'll cut it very, very easily. Just bear in mind, if you're using the genuine blades, you may well need, if you're using the click blade holder, you probably need to put it on five um, in order to get it to go through the, through the foam. Whereas mine was stuck out quite a lot. In fact, if I come over back to the machine. Yes, I have got a rolling pin on my desk. I don't have a brayer and I use a rolling pin instead when I need one. I can't for the life of me find a brayer anywhere over here. Whoops. Ooh, we are definitely out of focus. And hang on, I'm just going to put something underneath there because I don't want it to go down onto the cutting strip. There we go. Okay, so take that out and show you. Oops, if I put it against something dark, maybe you can see it better. All right, that is how much my blade is sticking out. And I said I do have it on number one, but my my whole blade is one millimeter longer than the proper blades for this machine. So that is why I only have it on number one. Okay. Uh, I hope that's of use to you. Thanks very much for watching and I hope this manages to get onto YouTube without them complaining because it's not in focus or too shaky. Thanks very much.